Hello, my name is Alan Ryan, and I am a professional retail um, business owner, and that business is Woodcraft. It's a woodworking supply company. Not only is selling and being business fun, but my major hobby is woodworking itself. The thing that really pushed me into woodworking is the fact that my great-great-grandfather was a cabinet maker who came over from Germany. In fact, I still have his original workbench and a couple of his tools. Um, I've done a little bit of antique tool collecting. That's taught me how to use some of the older tools and some of the older techniques, uh, which I thoroughly enjoy doing. At the same time, one of the things I've enjoyed about woodworking is ha and having a business around that is having the opportunity to teach other people uh, and bring them into the craft. I've always started in furniture building because I always had a need for inexpensive furniture. What I've uh, learned though is that it takes a lot of time and energy to craft a beautiful piece of furniture, uh, both in design as well as in execution of the project. Uh, I've been doing this for over the last 35 years and I still have an awful lot to learn. Woodworking means not only a hobby and a way of life, um, it, it's, a, it's a great way to share your passion with other people because you can make wonderful things to give to people. A handmade gift is much more valuable and much more respected than something that's just purchased at the local um, drugstore or what have you. And because you're giving your time and your energy. In today's world, time and energy are very, very valuable things. A lot of people on a day-to-day -day basis sit at a desk they do paperwork, they beat on a computer, they don't accomplish anything that's tangible. Woodworking is a tangible pro uh, process. It has things that you end up with that, are, that can be very beautiful, and you can also screw them up too. But you learn how to make it better, and you work with other people to learn how to do things. One of the biggest life lessons is not to be discouraged with the work that you do. Also to hold on to examples of what you've done and that over time as you learn patience and you become better at what you do, you can look back at an older project and you can obviously see the difference, the improvements that you've made. Um, when you can see that, it gives you a great sense of accomplishment, at least it does for me. It's completely relaxing. It gets you away from a computer. It gets you away from having to listen to a radio or a TV. You can slow down, take your time, whether you're using heavy power mach uh, machinery, which, you know, the, the thrill and the sound is fun. But then again, when you can just pick up a hand tool and glide a hand plane over a piece of wood and get a, a little fine shading, and it's just has a good sound, it smells, and it just feels great and wonderful to do that. What I've gotten out of it is not only great friendships with uh, many other woodworkers across the country, um, I've gotten a whole slew of wonderful toys and tools here in the shop, uh, not to mention a, a beautiful household full of uh, wonderful furniture that I've crafted. Uh, my wife loves to show off what I've made to her friends and it makes me feel good. It gives me a great sense of accomplishment and uh, it makes me, it gives me, you know, good quiet pride. But there will come a day when I won't be able to do it just because I physically won't be able to pick up the tools and, and complete the project without hurting myself. When that does come about though, um, I'll still be able to teach and to tell and to show and demonstrate. But 
it will be a sad day when I have to put my tools down.